Hola amigos! Welcome back to my daily Spanish. Today we're gonna get spicy and I'm gonna teach you Spanish curse words. A lot of them! <laughs> now, before we start, a quick disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes, so let's keep things respectful and fun. I will teach you the strongest curses at the end. Ready to add some sass to your Spanish? Vamos! My daily Spanish! First up is joder. This word is quite versatile, often used to express frustration or surprise. It literally means to fuck, but normally we use it as the exclamation FUCK! JODER! For example, JODER, SE ME HA HECHO TARDE, which means damn, I'm late. Use it carefully and with friends. JODER, QUE PESADO! You can also use it when you are in a good mood. For example, when someone tells you some good news. JODER, QUE BIEN! We also use this verb joder in other forms. Ya me he manchado la jodida camiseta. Estoy harta del jodido móvil. No me jodas. No me jodas. ¿Me estás jodiendo? Que te jodan. Mierda. Next is mierda, similar to the English shit. It's used when things go wrong. Mierda, se me ha olvidado. Maybe you dropped something. Mierda! If you fail an exam, mierda. You burnt the popcorn, mierda. You can also say, vete a la mierda, as go to hell. Also, when you are sick or sad, you can say, estoy en la mierda. I feel like shit. Coño! Let's talk about coño. This one is a bit tricky as it can be offensive, but it's also used for emphasis or surprise. Like, coño, que sorpresa! Damn, what a surprise! <laughs> coño and joder are interchangeable. Coño literally means pussy. The male version is cojones, balls. <laughs> but coño is more widely used. Both men and women use it, coño and cojones. Coño, que frío. Déjame, coño. Coño, cállate ya. Coño, que bien. Gilipollas. Now we start insulting people. This one's harsh, as it refers to someone being worse than an idiot or a jerk. Like asshole. Use it to vent about someone who's really gotten on your nerves. But do it carefully. You have to be really pissed off to use it. Gilipollas is the same for masculine and feminine. Tío, ¿eres gilipollas? La gilipollas de Eva me ha dejado tirada. No se puede ser más gilipollas. ¿Serás gilipollas? Es que soy gilipollas por creer en ti. Cabrón. Cabrón is similar to gilipollas. It's like bastard. Cabrón for a man, cabrona for a woman. Menudo cabrón. Eres una pedazo de cabrona. Sois unos cabrones. La cabrona de mi hermana me ha roto un vestido. By the way, on my daily Spanish, we have a free study guide that offers a step-by-step -step process to help you learn Spanish faster. You can download it for free using the link in the description. Before stepping up to the harshest courses, let's do a quick round of lighter bad words. Idiota. Estúpido. Inútil. Tonto. Imbécil. Mamaculos. Zorra. Mamarracho. Okay, get ready for the next ones. Puta. Puta means bitch. This is really harsh and I really don't like it because it is only against women. But I say yes to another use it has, which is similar to fucking in English. Puta and puto. La puta mesa está torcida. Que asco del puto móvil este. Joder, estoy harta de tantos putos deberes. Quita ya la puta musiquita esa. Joder con el puto wifi de los cojones. No te quiero ver más la puta cara. Que te follen. Fuck you. Let's go with the fuck you series. Que te follen. Literally means I hope somebody fucks you. If you want to be sassy and piss off the person who said that to you, you can take it literally and reply, ojalá. I wish. Or, eso espero. I hope. <laughs> que te jodan. Que te den. Que te den por culo. Que te folle un pez. 
I love this one. This literally means I hope a fish fucks you. <laughs> hey, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Gracias. Hijo de puta. Hijo de perra. Next, we have the classic hijo de puta for men and hija de puta for women. This means son of a bitch or daughter of a bitch. Also, hijo de la gran puta to make it worse. Son of the big bitch. Hijo de la grandísima puta. Son of the big, big, big bitch. Some animals in their feminine form also mean bitch, like perra, female dog, or zorra, female fox. But for this expression, we use perra. Hijo de perra. Hija de perra. Me cago en. Me cago en means I shit on or in. We commonly say me cago en la leche, literally meaning I shit in the milk. We use it like fuck, joder, but it is stronger than that. You can make it worse by shitting in or on different things. Me cago en la mar. Me cago en la hostia. Me cago en Dios. Me cago en la puta. Me cago en tu cara. Me cago en tu madre. And the worst of them all, me cago en tus muertos. Add puto or puta and make things worse. You can combine things. Me cago en tu puta cara, hijo de puta. Me cago en toda tu casta, asqueroso pedazo de mierda. And this last one is the worst curse of all curses in Spanish. Me cago en tus putos muertos. Try not to use that one. It is very, very, very unrespectful. If somebody says that, that person is really annoyed or might be a really bad person. You have to be aware of the context when you hear these curse words, because some of them might be used in positive situations, only with really close friends. I'm gonna tell you which of the curses can be used kind of positively. Mira que guapa está la cabrona. ¿Has aprobado? ¡Qué hijo de puta! Tía, vete a la mierda, dibuja super bien. You use those in situations you might be jealous of your friend, but also are happy for him or her. ¡Qué asco da la niña esta con tanta belleza! ¡Qué guapa eres, hija de puta! Well, that was an interesting tour of some of Spanish's most colorful expressions. Remember, understanding these words is one thing, but using them requires judgment and sensitivity to the context. Thanks for joining today's spicy lesson. Hasta pronto. Adiós, cabrones. My daily Spanish.